Hello and welcome back to the Carl Lewis Academy YouTube channel. In today's video, I will take you through a quick tutorial on how we can download and install VMware Workstation Pro for free. So let's begin. The very first thing I want to do is to open my web browser. I will go to Google. You can use whatever your favorite search engine is. So I will just type in Google download VMware Workstation Pro. I'll press enter and we'll search for VMware Workstation Pro. After searching to download VMware Workstation Pro, I will click on the second link. The second link is a blog from VMware. So I'm just going to go to the VMware blog by clicking VMware Workstation Pro, now available free for personal use. So I'll click on that and it will take me to the blog post. So when the blog post opens, I'm just going to click S to decline this cookies. Right at the top of the blog post, we see that if we want to use VMware Workstation Professional for personal use, it is now available for free. There are two versions of the VMware Workstation that has been shown on this page. So we have VMware Workstation Pro, which can be installed on both Windows or Linux. And then we have VMware Fusion Pro, which can be installed on the Mac operating system. So either of these versions can be used for free for personal use. So I'm just going to go down. I will make sure to leave a link to this blog post in the video description so that you can follow it. But we will pretty much be doing everything that is in the blog post anyways. So when I scroll down at this place right below Pro Apps, you see there are two options right in the middle of my screen right now. We have VMware Fusion Pro Download. So this is if you are downloading VMware for Mac, you download VMware Fusion Pro, but I'm downloading it for Windows. So whether you are downloading it for Windows or you are downloading for Linux, you will use the VMware Workstation Pro download. So I'm just going to click on VMware Workstation Pro downloads. After clicking on the link to download VMware Workstation Pro, we are taken to a Broadcom page. So at this point, you may be confused as to why you are trying to download VMware Workstation and your own Broadcom page. The reason is that Broadcom purchased the company VMware. So VMware is now owned by Broadcom. That's why we are taken to the Broadcom page. If this is your first time coming on the Broadcom page, chances are you don't already have a username and password. So like me, right now, I don't have a username and password. So I will come to the top right-hand corner to log in. So I will just click on it. And then I will have two options here to either log in or to register. So I will click on register. When I click on register, it opened a new tab. So I will let that new tab to load up. So this is a new page for you to create your username. So you can put your email here and then you can just repeat this, this call as you see, and then you click on next. So after putting in my email and putting in the code that I see, I will click on next. Then it's going to send a verification code to my email. So I'm just going to switch to my email and I'll go for the verification code. So I'm just going to copy the verification code, come back to my browser and put in the verification code. So I'll just close this. So I'll click on verify and continue. So once that is done, it will bring up the screen and you have to fill in the rest of the information here. So I'm just going to put in my information. So I'm going to put my first name, put my last name. I'm currently in Canada. I'm going to put my job title. I'm going to create a password. I'm going to repeat the password or confirm the password. So password is confirmed. I'm going to accept the terms of use and I will click on create account. Okay, so my password doesn't meet the minimum password complexity requirement. So I'm just going to change it to a more complex password. And I will click create account. So I'm just going to ignore this to not save my password to the browser. 
So it tells me register successfully. So I've registered successfully. I will build my profile later. So I'll take the second option. So once I do that, I'm taken to this page so that I can download the VMware Workstation Pro. So I'm just going to click on close. I'm going to go back to this tab. I'm just going to go back to the blog post. The reason why I'm going back, I just want to click on the download once more, and then I can just be taken directly to the download page. So I'll click on VMware Workstation Pro Download. And because I'm already signed in on this tab, it should sign me in. Oh no, it didn't sign me in anyways. I will just sign in, go to next. I'm going to put in my complex password. The page is kind of finicky though. Yeah, that's weird. Because I was typing in the password, but the password wasn't appearing. So I just click enter and then it came back to the page anyways. So I'll click on sign in now. I'm just going to ignore saving my password to the browser. Voila, we are finally taken to the VMware Workstation Pro page. So we have various versions on this page. We have version 17, version 16, and version 15. So we're going to go for the latest and the greatest version, which is version 17. I'm just going to go for the second option, which is VMware Workstation Pro 17.0 for personal use. And because I'm installing it on Windows, so I'm taking the second one. So I'll click on that and then it will open and we see there are various releases that are listed here. So the latest release is version 17.5.2. So I'm going to click on that. After accepting the terms and condition to download VMware Workstation Pro, I will come down to the right side of the VMware Workstation Pro and look at this little cloud thing that is here. So I will just click on that to download. So I'll click on that. And it's going to say prior to downloading this file, additional verification is required. Proceed. I'll click on yes to proceed. And it's going to come here to allow me to complete this page. So I'm just going to complete this page, put in my address, and put in my city and my province. So for the sake of my own privacy, I'm just going to pause the video at this point, complete this stage, and I will click on Submit. So you can complete this page and click on Submit. So I'm going to do that. So after completing that form, when I click on submit, it brought me right back to the same page. So again, I'm just going to come to the right side and click on the little cloud icon there with the down pointing arrow. So when I hover over it, it tells me HTTPS download. So I'll click on that to download the VMware Workstation Pro. So as you can see, the download has started. So I'm just going to allow this to download while I pause the video. And once this is done, I will come and walk you through how to install VMware Workstation Pro for free. All right, so I'm just coming back to the computer and the download has just completed. So if you are using Google Chrome, at the top right, you will notice that there are these three dots. So when you click on these three dots, it opens the menu up and then you can just come down to Downloads right here but when you look across downloads you see control plus j so you can use control plus j to open downloads or you can come here and click on downloads so when i click on downloads it's going to open the download tab and it will show me everything i've downloaded on the computer so we can see that we have completed the download of the vmware workstation pro so if this was closed, I can just press on my computer, Control plus J, and it's going to do the same. So I'm just going to click on the name to execute this so that I can have it installed. So now I'm prompted with the user account control. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device in order to install it? We have to say yes, so I will click on yes to agree. So it's going to begin the installation of VMware Workstation Pro version 17.5.2. So I'm just going to give it a few seconds and allow the wizard to 
start. All right, so now the wizard has started. So we have welcome to VMware Workstation Pro Setup Wizard. So I will click on next. And then obviously this is the end user's license agreement. You can read through the agreement. I'm just going to accept this agreement by clicking in this little square box that is here that says I accept the terms in the license agreement. And then I will click on next. And then this is asking you to install some compatibility features. So I will just say install the hypervisor platform automatically. I'm just going to check that and I'm going to click on next. Again, I want to install enhanced keyboard driver. So I'm just going to check that box. And then add VMware Workstation Console Tools into System Path. That was already checked by default. So I will just click on next. And I will just go back and say for this place, change where you have installed to. So this is the default installation path where it's going to install VMware Workstation on my computer. If for any reason you want to change the installation path, you are more than welcome to just click on change and you can go and go through the wizard and select where you want to have the installation safe to. So I'm just going to cancel for now and come back here and I'm just going to keep it to the default installation path and click on next. Okay, this next screen has to do with the user experience settings. So if you want to always have VMware to check for product updates, you can keep this option checked. This is when it is already installed. Every time you launch the software, it's going to use your internet to check if there are some updates and it's going to tell you there are product updates. So this is what this first option is for. If it is something you always like to do, you can keep it checked. At this point, do you want to join the VMware customer improvement experience? It's already checked by default. If it is something that you would like to opt in for, you can keep that checked. If it is something that you are not interested in, you are more than welcome to uncheck it. So I'm just going to click on next. Then do you want to create shortcut on your desktop? I really don't like it. Just to keep my desktop clean. I don't like putting shortcuts on the desktop, so I just uncheck that. You are more than welcome to create shortcut on your desktop and then start menu program folder. I'm just going to keep that check and I'm going to go to next. Then at this point, it's telling me that you are ready to install VMware Workstation Pro. I'm going to click on install and it's going to begin the installation of VMware Workstation Pro. So at this point, I will pause my video and then I will resume once the installation has completed. So at this stage of the installation, we have two options to either click on finish to complete the installation or to click on license to enter in our license key. That is if we did purchase a license key that we need to use it for commercial use. So I'm just going to click on license so that you can see how the screen looks like. Okay, so as you can see, now you have the options to enter in the 25-digit license key. But again, if you don't have the license key, you can then click on Finish. So I'm just going to click on Finish. I'm prompted to restart my computer. I'm going to say No so I can manually restart my computer. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to click in my search and search for VMware workstation so i'm going to open vmware workstation pro when vmware workstation pro opens up for the very first time we have two options one to enter in a license for us we want to use it for free for personal use so we're going to choose the first option use vmware workstation 17 for personal use so when you click that option and you click on continue and then it tells you thank you for using VMware Workstation. So I'm just going to click on finish. All right. So this is the interface for VMware Workstation Pro version 17.5.2. So this is how you can install the VMware Workstation Pro and how you can activate it for free for personal use. So there you have it. This brings us to our end of this episode. In the next episode, I will walk you through how we can create our first 
virtual machine and how we can install an operating system on that virtual machine. So thank you for watching and make sure to like this video if you like it. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions or any suggestion that you like us to make videos about. Or also share this video with anyone that you think will find this video useful. But without further ado, take care and I will see you in a very next video. Bye.